This is Dr. B. We're going to look at this reaction here, aluminum oxide plus hydrochloric acid. I've written down the number of atoms on each side of the equation, so let's see how we can balance this. Usually I do leave the oxygens to last, but I see right here I have an odd number, and I think if I can get that to an even number, that'll make the balancing a lot easier. So I'll put a coefficient of 2 in front of that aluminum oxide, and that means I have 3 times 2. That'll give me 6, so now my oxygens, that's an even number, and I think that'll be helpful. And then the 2 times the 2, that means I have 4 aluminum atoms. So when I come over here on the product side, I'll put a 6 in front of the H2O, and 1 times 6, that equals 6. So my oxygens are balanced, and then 2 times 6 for the hydrogens, that gives me 12. Okay. I might as well try to fix my aluminums, because I have four here and only one here, so I could just put a coefficient of four in front of the aluminum chloride, and the aluminums have one times four. Then I'll have four of those, so the aluminums are balanced. And now the chlorines, I have three times four, so three times four, that equals 12. We're almost there. Everything's balanced except for the H and the Cl, and they're together, so I need 12 hydrogens, 12 chlorines to balance. So I'll just put a coefficient of 12 right here, and the hydrogens, 1 times 12, that equals 12. Chlorines, 1 times 12, that also equals 12. And we're done. This equation is balanced. This is the correct ratio for the products and the reactants in this chemical equation. We probably do want to take and get the lowest common denominator. Right now, everything's a multiple of 2. So if I take and divide each thing by 2, I'll have 1, 6, 3, and that's kind of more what we expect to have as coefficients when we're balancing a chemical equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced reaction for Al2O3 plus HCl yields AlCl3 plus H2O, and thanks for watching.